Hi, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and my project today is a, another mixed media art panel. Um, recycling a calendar page, it's an old paper source calendar page that you see there. And I just loved the design of it, but it was too plain for me to just post all on its own. So I decided to turn it into like a, an art panel. So I wrote these three words, try, create, and explore out on some, you know, like typing paper. And I'm going to trace them onto some plain Tim Holtz ideology tissue wrap um, using my black Sharpie marker. The tissue wrap, um, it, you can just do whatever you want on it. You can stamp on it. You can create your own patterns. It's awesome. And it's a great surface um, for mixed media projects. Like you can wrinkle it, you can stamp on it, you can overlap it. It's really cool. So for tracing letters, it, I, this was perfect. And as you can see, I'm not a great hand letterer, <laughs> but you know, I kind of liked the sort of the difference between the way the words looked and the casualness of them. So I was happy with it and I just went for it. I don't think you need to worry too much about um, how pretty it all is. I was kind of just happy being a little bit, um, I don't know, I guess casual. <laughs> So I'm filling in all the words with my uh, fat black Sharpie marker uh, so that they will stand out really nicely from that very busy leafy background on the panel. Now do put um, some paper under your uh, tissue wrap before you write on it with a Sharpie because it will bleed through and stain your craft mat as I found out the hard way. But not a big deal. It already had plenty of stains on it. So I will do that with all three words and then set them aside to they just dry a little bit. And now I'm going to go along the edges of this calendar page with some distress ink to color it. So this is Dusty Concord and I'm going to go um, with my little mini blending tool from the craft mat in sort of a circular motion onto all four edges of this panel. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Mermaid Lagoon kind of here and there, mostly in the corners. Um, just to add a little bit of blue to that purple edge. Uh, I was trying to pick up the, the colors in the in the blue and purple birds on the panel. And as you can see, I avoided the orange bird on the bottom there with the Distress Ink. And for some reason, I tend to gravitate towards purple with my mixed media projects. I'm not sure why. I do really like purple, but it's not really, it's not like my favorite color. But um, something about purple and blue together, I really like them. So to jazz up my birds here, I am using my Spectrum Noir colored glitter markers to go over certain portions of their wings and their bodies. I will list out on the blog post exactly which colors I used for which bird, um, but I realize it's probably going to be tough to locate um, a 2015 paper source calendar to exactly copy this, but part of the reason I wanted to show you this was uh, I think for people who are new to like mixed media art journaling, like I sort of am, sometimes it's easier to start off with a like a, an already created image and just add on to it rather than trying to start with a blank piece of paper. That can be a little intimidating and um, feel like too much. So I really loved this image and I just thought, hey, I can add onto this and create something cool that will be unique to me and work great in my um, little craft space. And so I thought others might f like this as an idea for a jumping off point for a fun mixed media project. Now I'm going to adhere these uh, tissue wrap letter words down using gel medium. So I've coated the back and now I'm going to go over the entire top of this. And then I'm going to go over the entire panel with the gel medium. It dries clear um, and it will seal the entire piece. So it's going to turn it into a non-porous surface. Now it does take the glitter down um, from those Spectrum Noir glitter markers a fair amount. You can still see the glitter, but it's not nearly as sparkly as it was when I just did it right over the top on the... Um, paper before I coated it, but that's okay. I just wanted sort of a subtle glitter on, on the birds anyway. And it will also to seal everything in. So it's going to seal in the distress ink. So they will be um, impervious to like water. And then anything I put on top of it, I will have a little bit of time that I could potentially like wipe it off if I hate what I do. <laughs> so that's always a good thing, at least in my world. 
Now to add a little bit of dimension, I cut some flowers out of some Nina Solaroid cardstock using my brother's scan and cut too. Now these are just standard shapes that were um, already in the scan and cut too that I just kind of resized to layer together. So that flower in the little middle was one piece and then that sort of spiky center it was the second piece. And the flowers are all sized to like the big parts are about three inches each. The overall panel is 12 and a quarter by 13 and three quarters when it's done. And so I'm using my distress crayons, as you can see there, that was festive berries on that flower. And then this is fossilized amber and then I'll use mustard seed on the outside edge. So it gets a little bit of a lighter outer portion and a darker center. And then that little white center off to the right there, I will cover with black enamel accents. Um, that's actually gonna go on the, the white and red flower. And now I'm adding more uh, blue. It was originally seedless preserves with some a Mermaid Lagoon and then I add additional Mermaid Lagoon and Salty Ocean and then a little bit of Chip Sapphire to that center. And then on this I'm adding Spiced Marmalade just in the middle to give it like a little bit of an orange edge. Now the yellow center is going to cover up a lot of this so you're not going to see too much. So that's why I'm adding Festive Berries just to the outer edge to get kind of a red orange. Like I'm kind of again trying to pull out the colors that are in the hummingbirds in my flowers. And I did add a little bit of yellow around the edge of this flower, but I didn't really like that. I thought I had too much yellow going already in that other flower. So I changed it over to blue. So I'm using uh, Mermaid Lagoon and then I'll add Salty Ocean and then it, I will also add Chipped Sapphire. So it does kind of become sort of a greeny blue, but that was okay because it worked with the blue and the green of the, of the leaves uh, on the existing panel and the, and the blue hummingbird. And so there's my uh, enamel accents black center and now I'm adding Nouveau drops in dandelion yellow to the other center. And this one doesn't, didn't have a separate center so I just glued the two pieces together with some Zigtui glue pen and I'm filling in the middle with Nouveau glitter drops in midnight sky and then aquatic mist and I will set them all aside to dry. And so there they are, they're all dried and here together with Zigtui glue pen and I'm going to add some Sherbert shimmer dots little pink dots to the center of the yellow, that yellow center, because um, it just needed something. The yellow was just kind of flat all on its own. So these have dried now and I'm adhering them down to the panel with my Zig 2A glue pen and they have some nice dimension to them. Um, the water and the distress inks kind of made them curl and bend interestingly so they have some fun dimension added to the panel. Now, I've also used Tim Holtz ideology label letters, as you can see here, to add smaller words around on the panel. And these are sort of like encouraging words. So I have things like be happy. Um, I'm adding no here to, so no joy, discover, love, grow, um, in the very bottom. Oh, and then I'm gonna uh, adhere these down, like coat them with the gel medium, just to really keep them in place. They don't adhere super great all on their own, at least initially, which was good because I could easily peel them up if I didn't like the word I put down or how it looked. Um, but adding the gel medium made me feel like these will stay on there forever now. This says find courage. And then in the upper left corner, I will eventually put have strength, although you will not see me do that, but it did help kind of balance out the little black words here and there. And then to pull in some white from the flowers, I'm adding white dots here and there with my Stamper's Big Brush Pen in white. And I'm gonna go over the, those dots a few times. They're a little bit um, translucent when you initially put them down, especially over darker colors like the green leaves. Um, and I liked adding those little label letters. I realized I could have stuck, if you smoosh them all together, they look like a Dymo label. Um, but I, I liked them spread out and I thought they were kind of a fun little black accent here and there as well as encouraging words. And then I did cover the hum hummingbird eyes with my black glaze pen. I tried to avoid the little white highlight, but if I wasn't able to, then I did add the white highlight back in once the black glaze pen was dry with my white glaze pen. And now for the centers of the pink flowers, I added some Sherbert Shimmer glitter drops. And then on all the little yellow like, I don't know, berries, dots. I covered those in the dandelion yellow uh, Nouveau drops as well to add a little bit of extra dimension, a little extra color and shine 
to my sort of happy and colorful <laughs> and encouraging little art panel. And that is the completed project. I'm sorry I can't get out wide enough for you to see the whole thing, but I think you've got an idea of how it turned out. And in the photos, you can see the entire panel completed. So I don't typically do um, the more like grungy, rusty gears kind of mixed media projects, although I certainly appreciate those and will certainly try those and have those elements in future projects. Um, but I love a lot of color and a lot of brightness. So hopefully I've inspired you a little bit with my uh, sort of weird and unique mixed media style here and maybe giving you some inspiration as far as trying out um, like a calendar panel as a basis for a personal um, art journaling or mixed media project if you are stuck and sort of stumped when you look at like a big white empty canvas. So thanks so much for watching. Supplies are linked in the video description and over on my blog. Here are two more mixed media projects I have done in the past if you want to check those out. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you would do that as well. Thank you so much and have a really, really great day.